Okay, this how-to video is going to show you some of the, the new features for the step package mapping. Um, so we can go to obviously map a, a 3D model to a, to a footprint. We can use the, the setup step package mapping from inside a, a board file or also inside a, a symbol or a DRA file. So if I go to the step package mapping. I've got a filter here that I can specify which ones haven't got a, a step model yet. So let's pick a, a connector for example. And you can see I've effectively got a, a view of my, my package symbol here. So let's find uh, the step model that we need to find. There's a step model I need to find. And I can I can overlay the two and you can kind of see I'm, I'm in a different orientation here. So let's let's rotate this into the right orientation correctly. Um, because step models don't always come in in the same orientation that you would expect from a PCP point of view. And then we've now got the ability to obviously to manually type the offsets if we know what they are. If we don't know what they are, we've got some, some increments and some keys so we can start to kind of increment and move the step model around using the, 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 the value here. We've also got the mouse mode so we can click on the mouse button, click on the part and actually start to kind of drag it roughly where we want it to be. And then also in the mouse mode, we can scroll in with the middle mouse button to actually zoom in to see what we need to set this at. Once we've got the actual values, we can set what we need to set. This then maps the step model correctly, so we can kind of save and close this. And if we select the part, we can do a 3D view and you can kind of see the mapping with the pins.